Hello everyone and welcome to Fundamental Science! Today, I invite you to perform an experiment I like to call Wandering Water. The purpose of the experiment is to discover whether water will travel from one cup to another via a paper towel. To perform the experiment, you will need the following. Seven clear plastic cups or glasses. Place the plastic cups next to each other. Food coloring, blue, red, and yellow. Paper towels. And last but not least, water. Fill glasses 1, 3, 5, and 7, most of the way up with water. Next, add food coloring to the glasses. A few drops of red food coloring to glass number 1 and 7. A few drops of yellow food coloring to glass 3 and a few drops of food blue coloring to glass 5. A few moments later now put one side of the folded paper towel into one glass and the other side of the paper towel in the adjacent glass. And repeat with the remaining cups. So what exactly is happening? Why is the water moving from a full cup to an empty cup through a paper towel? These are very interesting questions which I will explain. The water moves through the paper towel due to something called capillary action. Capillary action is the process in which a liquid moves up something solid like a paper towel or a tube or into a material with a lot of small holes. This happens because of three forces working together. So what is a force? A force is a push or a pull. Sometimes forces cause objects to move and sometimes forces slow, stop or change the direction of an object's motion. Therefore, the three forces are cohesion, which basically means things that stick to each other, in this case, tiny water particles sticking to each other. Adhesion, which means things that stick to other things, in this case, it's water particles sticking to the paper towel. And something called surface tension, which is an effect where the surface of a liquid is strong. For instance, if we were to place a paper clip on the surface of water, it would float and not sink. Therefore, 
As one particle moves up the paper towel, it pulls the other particle with it. All the particles pull each other along like a drawstring. It is because of the same process that plants and trees obtain water from the ground by the roots and bring it to the rest of the plant, including the leaves. Now, take a look at this photo of a plant in the jar. This is how a plant will obtain the water and distribute it to the leaves. If you want to perform a similar experiment, place a few drops of food coloring into a jar similar to the one in the photo filled with water. What would happen to the leaves? Would they change the color? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.